Tomorrow, the Oklahoma City Council will decide on the new location of the Oklahoma County Jail. But this evening, some feel the vote will take place without some important information requested from one of the Oklahoma County Commissioners. News 4's Adria Goins is here to tell us more. Adria. Well, Gina Standridge says she filed an open records request in February asking for text messages and emails between County Commissioner Miles Davidson and a member of the Jail Board Oversight Committee as well as Crooked Oak Superintendent Bradley Richardson. She says she hopes it will clear up if there were deals being made for the site. On the corner of Southeast 21st and Bryant in Dell City stands a small yellow sign with a mighty impact. But I think uh, this will be a, a, you know, effective enough to, to uh, get people's attention. It reads, no jail here. And Robert Kuhn says it's led to a lot of conversations with his neighbors unaware that a block away in Oklahoma City limits is the proposed site of the new city jail. Say aye. 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 The controversial location is people like Gina Standridge, who's been at every commissioner's meeting, questioning the process. It just led me to think maybe more was going on. She, along with Mayor Floyd Eason, filed an open records request in February. They asked for text messages and emails between County Commissioner Miles Davidson, a member of the Jail Board Oversight Committee and the Crooked Oak Superintendent, turning to the Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office last week when those records weren't turned over. We signed a complaint that we were not getting the open records that we had requested. Commissioner Davidson told me Monday, last week I was informed of an open records request that had unfortunately been overlooked by my office. I ensured that the proper records were submitted. Davidson also said the records needed to be cleared by the DA's office. When I asked the DA's office about the documents, a spokesperson told me the DA's office has no involvement in open records requests. Well, Stanridge says she just received some of those communications that she requested and she's combing through those right now, but she told me there were conversations about the site with Crooked Oak back in December and January. Also, Oklahoma City officials with voting power were mentioned. One text saying, they need to get their votes in line.